This is Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, July 31st, through this coming Sunday, August 6th, 2017. As we enter August, it's helpful to lay out the major emphasis that the energy of this month is going to play in our lives. And it all started on July 23rd with the first new moon in Leo. Now we're going to add two eclipses. And eclipses are major energy for us, all piling into August. Um, we're going to have a lunar eclipse with the full moon, which is next Monday, August 7th, in the sign of Aquarius. And then a solar eclipse on the next new moon in Leo on August 21st. All this heralds change. <laughs> Wonderful change. And to allow this to flow the most efficiently and the most, you know, abundantly for you, be aware of your boundaries because it's time to shake up and step forward for the point of no return and finally letting go of those circumstances and situations and people and ideas and habits that have outlived their usefulness and are no longer in our best interest. And this is good. We've been through so much in the past year and a half. You're ready for your transformation and the alignment to what really, really suits and what makes us happy. And with the Aquarian energy, we're ready for our compatible group of like-minded souls to travel this journey with us. Next Monday's full moon, which is August 7th, doubles down on the intensity with the lunar eclipse. This is going to bring major developments in your life, and it's going to cheer on your personal growth. You're putting in place things that will last. So make sure you're paying attention and activating your dreams. We've been restless and tired of the uncertainty and slow progress. So use August energy to surge forward with confidence. Your individuality and your commitment to your personal dreams matters. And the efforts that you make to shine your unique light this reclaims your personal power. And in this way, you can make a difference. <laughs> the time has come. Use August to cross that, cross that threshold of the doorway to your intellectual, emotional, social freedom and expression. You've worked for it. And as you focus in on your desires of happiness, and what it is that you really, really want to be experiencing. Allow all this powerful energy to stimulate you into action and into acting upon your dreams. You know, and as always, your beautiful guides want to remind you that you are supported and guided and loved and assisted always from the realms of divine source love out there in the cosmic universe, all carrying you forward to what it is you really want to experience, your greatest happiness. This is powerful energy, and I want to make it accessible to you and help you understand it so you can use it to your best advantage. Angel Tarot, Doreen Virtue, Radley Valentine. And I'm looking forward to our cards for this week. I'm going to spread them out and then I'm going to go over each one to give you all the details of the energy for this week so you can use it to your best advantage. Nice, nice, nice. A lot of uh, emotional growth here. All right. <laughs> We're starting with the Ten of Air. <sighs> to me, in the tarot, this is the card of overanalyzing. And I love how they say here, the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better now. Oh, how perfect is that? 
It's like exactly what August is all about. Let go of all those things that are no longer serving you. Don't hang on to a difficult situation or habits or people that aren't honoring you. Move on with that energy and allow yourself some freedom. Ten is a doorway. You go through that doorway and you get your new beginning. Air is you've got the knowledge, you're smart, it's intellectual connection, it's wisdom, it's experience. So bringing all that energy with you to go through this doorway to your greatest happiness. And if there's anything that you're addicted to, you know, it can be a habit, it can be an idea, it can be a default pattern, all the way up to very serious addictions. This energy of August is going to help you finally break those habits and get rid of those limiting things that are holding you back. So very important energy to help you move forward. And then we get into the emotions. I like this three of water. It's, you know, lightening us up nicely after that ten of air and saying, go out and have some fun with your friends. <laughs> you know, incorporate happiness and laughter and just enjoying time with people that love you and enjoy your company. Very important for your expansion. Three is expansion. Water is emotions. So go out and have some fun. Celebrate. If you've been invited to something, say yes. Get out of the house. Go and do it because you need to have more fun. <laughs> we all need more fun. And it's very, very important. You know, laughter is one of the single greatest ways to open your energy to get all yourself in alignment energetically with what it is you want to experience. I love this card. <laughs> it's the highest card in the Major Arcana. It's the world. And Archangel Michael is promising you every goodness. This says you've done the work. You, you know, a job well done. Absolutely. You deserve and you've earned your joy and contentment and all that gratitude in your life. It's, you know, the path towards your personal enlightenment. Two plus one is a three, so more expansion for you. This, they try to incorporate everything, all the seasons, all the elements. This is you in the middle. You're divinely connected. These infinity symbols above and below. Divine connection. So this is a beautiful reminder that everything's okay, that you've been through the hard bit and you're ready for that shift and that transformation. Very important energy for this month. Allow the freedom of Aquarius to pull you forward and also to connect you with like-minded people that you can enjoy. This is a big shift for all of us and it's allowing love and it's allowing all those relationships that enhance your life. And the Knight of Water, <laughs> he's going back to love, falling in love. And um, he's on a quest, an emotional quest, romantic, enthusiastic, and contemplative. Whew, this is love and romance. It's also dreaminess. You know, go ahead and spend a little bit of time lost in thought and fantasizing about what it is that you really want to enjoy in your life. But don't get too distracted or too emotional because, you know, you've got to take the practical steps to create these things in your life. Um, this is emotional growth. It's feelings. It's very much creative, artistic pursuits. And, um, you know, expressing love and beauty through your creative, beautiful gifts. So I love this emotional quest. Emotional. You're on an emotional quest. And then we got journey cards. This is a journey card. That's a journey card. The Knight of Water, a bit of an emotional journey card. Two of Fire. Ah, oh, we're going to, you know, <laughs> tap into your confidence here and, and remind you that what you do, you do well. You know, that's this. You've come into your own. 
and allowing again those new compatible people into your life, new partnerships to help you. Fire is taking action, to is union and you know bringing things to you. So look for the people to work with and continue to move forward. This is embarking on your journey together with someone else to help you. So I like that energy. For water, <laughs> more emotions. Four is doing the work, emotional work. So this is, you know, I, I love this card. I'm always, I get really into describing this imagery because it couldn't be better. Here you are, you're focusing on these little monotone empty cups. And right here, this abundant, you know, gold, gilt, edged, dolphin, jeweled cup is where all the goodness is. So pay attention to where you're focusing. Do the emotional work of not focusing on lack. <laughs> Pivot and change that whole pattern and stop just trying to get, you know, squeeze something out of these because they're empty, they're done, they're finished, and they're just whoop, disintegrating. Pivot and start describing this cup and start seeking this cup. This is where the goodness is. This is where things will grow and happen in your life that make you happy. So anytime you feel you're missing an opportunity or you're discontented or bored, I love it. Open your eyes to the possibilities because absolutely you're always being offered opportunity. And you seek it out by finding the simple thing in your life that makes you happy. And then you build on that abundance. And pretty soon, these have disintegrated and gone away. And this is all that exists, is this goodness. This bright, abundant, fantastic, loving cup right here. That's all you need. All you need. Page of water, continuing with emotions. Oh, this is fresh beginnings. This is new relationships. This is also very, very much the card of loving yourself <laughs> and there's nothing more important than that beautiful unconditional self-love will carry you through life better than anything else um this is fresh attitudes it's you know new babies it's what are you you know a little empress energy here what are you growing what are you developing this is also very good energy after things have been difficult. This is telling you in a new and different way that things are shifting from a difficult or bitter experience and now they get better. This is change in a positive way. It can be a new person, new relationship. You know, absolutely pay attention to your psychic abilities because they will be heightened at this time and during this month. <laughs> All those lunar eclipses. Solar eclipses, you can't avoid heightened intuition, which is very important. See, you are intuitive, sensitive, artistic, and friendly, and allowing all those attributes to serve you and bring you happiness right now. Pages are messengers, so this is in a messenger of your emotional growth and your emotional alignment. Allow new people. This is um, absolute, this Aquarius energy of there's, you know, a group. Things are shifting. You've got new friends, new love, new groups coming in for you. And that's going to make you very happy. And that's going to add a lot of fulfillment to your life. And then the Ace of Earth, just in case you were wondering. Because <laughs> there are no other money cards. But this is the card of money growing. The beginnings of money in your material world. It's also your health improving. So I love it. The inflow of abundance and your businesses are getting better and important details that need to come together for your business success. So allowing that to build. See, she's focused on this great little globe of money <laughs> that's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger as you progress and move forward because it's the beginning of money. So don't worry about money. They didn't leave it out. This again, like the uh, two of fire, is a bit of embarking on your journey. 
is completely pulling from this Ace of Earth, telling you you have abundance, expansion. Take action on expansion in your life. You have abundance and things are looking really, really good. Have patience for the timing. We get bogged down in this, you know, linear time. But that beautiful divine universe has its, <laughs> has its own timing for you, which is better. So if you're bogged down in timing, just, you know, close your eyes and breathe into your heart and say thank you for perfect timing. Because there's all kinds of things beyond your control that are coming into alignment that you don't need to worry about. You just need to trust. All is unfolding with perfect timing. So if you also convey that to your guides and angels and loved ones and all the beautiful entities of the highest white light that are helping you at all times, they will make you, they'll give you some ease around the timing. They'll make you aware of how timing is unfolding in the best possible way. And also very much, August is the month to make long-term plans. I was trying to mention this in the beginning that what you're setting in place now is going to play out. It's going to be in place for a while. So make sure that it's the things that make you the happiest the things that you want to be enjoying and experiencing in your life. Let go of all those things that are no longer serving you and come into alignment with what makes you happy. Because if you don't, you're wasting your time. And this is not the point in your life to waste time anymore pleasing someone else. It's all about you. <laughs> all about us. Um, I would love to help you specifically with a private reading and, you know, tap into your energy, call in your council of guides and angels and all those entities of the highest white light that are around you all the time to give you the guidance and the answers and the clarity and the understanding you need to know. And we'll look at your blueprint and who's on it and how all that's playing out and, you know, what's coming next for you. It's very, you know, useful good information to keep you on track and to solve anything that you may be bogged down in. So I would love to give you a personal reading. All the information is on my website, spiritpathways.net. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.